up next, a welterweight tilt between George St. Pierre and Jorge Game Red Masvidal. Well, if you're just getting into fighting and you're looking for a fighter to support, you can do worse than Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Really a guy who's easy to root for and coming off some of the biggest wins of his career recently. He is starting to get everything right. For as long as Jorge Masvidal has been in this game, you always had the feeling that there was still work to be done in order to truly reach his optimal form. I feel like now he's finally getting it. And people overlook the fighter's mentality of Jorge Masvidal. We talked about Kimball Slice the back there fighting, but Jorge Masvidal was right next to him. Right. He was back there fighting just for the sake of fighting. And he has done that in the octagon, and now he's finally putting it all together as he tries to make his way to a UFC title fight. All right, so here he is, the former two-division UFC champion, George Rush St. Pierre. He's the most prolific takedown artist on paper in UFC history. Despite not having any amateur wrestling chops to speak of, this is a man who, at least in my mind, turned the MMA takedown into a thing. Yes, he did. He made it all look so smooth and so great. But it was the striking of George St. Pierre that was so good that made you have to be on awareness the whole time. So as the hands flew up, George St. Pierre had the timing that was unmatched at the time in mixed martial arts. One of the first guys that was truly able to do everything. Before we had specialists, and then we had George St. Pierre, he truly changed the game. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. GSP is four years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 14 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Game Red And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC welterweight champion, George Rush St. Pete. And with the attributes, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but it's a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' career. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Good stick. Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, it's, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has an ability to stand and box with anyone in the UFC. And that was on full display when he beat Nate Diaz. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into position where he can get off the strikes. Try to establish that jab. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to ring. A oh, little single collar tie there. Game Fred gets touched by that kick there. Oh, 
Just out of range with that right hand. That right hand landed. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Jorge Masvidal. Under two minutes in round one. Oh! He's out! He got him! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called to stop to this contest at three minutes, four seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jorge Gabriel Martinez. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And it got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.